Oh! Oh! to say today ma'am repent of your sins repent of my sins of your sins of my sins that's right and be baptized in the name of jesus ah, la, 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 la. Oh, la, 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 gonna do with it and stop fast forwarding you know who you are stop that's where i'm at red lobster um yesterday was labor day and they kicked off their all you can eat shrimp so uh they do have music playing in there like uh pretty loud so you're not going to hear anything from in that location i put music in the background of my own and i would do a lot of voiceovers um Hopefully you liked the video. I'm going to do a time lapse so it speeds it up on a lot of it because it's going to be a while here probably. Um, so uh, we're going to enjoy some food. Hope you enjoy the video. See you inside. Okay guys, here's the first plate. Um, you have to get two sides, so I picked sea salt fries and coleslaw. Um, the coleslaw didn't make it out to the table and I didn't ask for it. I was not missing it. I was just trying to fill up on the shrimp. That's what she said. But this uh, plate includes the garlic shrimp scampi and the crisp sriracha honey shrimp. Uh, it's not the restaurant's fault, but I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not a fan of the sriracha up on anything, so um, I just didn't like that one as much. shrimp scampi there oh bathed in that garlic butter it was delicious so i i kind of cut this short and i didn't eat all 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 i can eat because tasha was with me and i didn't want her to sit there and have to uh talk to me the whole time he's bringing out what does he have here oh teriyaki this stuff here is delicious it uh on the skewers so um, the at the first plate the portions come out smaller it's not them that's doing this it's just that's how restaurants do uh but it's it's a sales gimmick you get in the doors all you can eat and then they they, they kind of trickle it down a little bit because most people won't sit there like an idiot like me and sit there two or three or four hours and eat uh, but that teriyaki uh shrimp i cannot uh stress that enough it was grilled good um the, the char on it was great.
we have some hand breaded shrimp. Hey, um, Tasha was with me and I didn't want her to have to sit through the whole thing the whole time and have to deal with talking to me. But we uh, we did have a good time. Um, she's a really good sport. She said she would stay, and, and she and at the end though, she told me to to order more plates. Um, even the waiter, I was like, you know, the lighting wasn't good. It wasn't. This wasn't the best situation. I did have great company. Okay, here's me taking more pictures for this video. Um, there's more to it than just doing these videos and hitting play. I'm writing stuff down, making sure I get everything right to try to get the most uh, amount of information to you guys. So if you want to try these um, all you can eat and, and know what's all it entails, then you can. Um, he brought over some uh, shrimp Lugini, Lugini Alfredo. Man, I can't even say the word because I'm slobbering over this. That's what she said. But, uh, that dish was really good. Uh, this is the only dish that I had to add seasoning, okay? And if you notice my pinky out, that is fancy. That is fancy stuff right there. I, it, it takes time to learn that, okay? The etiquette to that. Uh, I wish I had a spoon. Uh, there was no spoon on the table. I could have asked for one, but, you know, I just wanted to put it in my mouth. You know, she said that too. But you're supposed to swirl it around in the spoon and make it a little me less messy. Uh, other than that, I had to add a little bit of pepper there, cracked pepper. Uh, I'll tell you about the salt here in a second. There was a little joke I was doing uh, once I found this salt. When I, I guess I'll tell you now. I'm like, uh, which sea is this salt from? It just says sea salt. What if I'm allergic to the, you know, a different sea, Mediterranean? Maybe I'm allergic to it. The waiter brought out some um, hand breaded shrimp again, and he brought out some coconut shrimp. It had some pineapples in the coconut, which was uh, pretty good. Oh, that looks so pretty. I was actually talking about Tasha. Okay, here's me taking more pictures for the video. Uh, I polished my plates off and she was done eating for the day. So um, I went ahead and polished her uh, Luguini shrimp Alfredo off, which is really good. Um, I'm going to tell you, it is good. It's a good thing to have somebody that's done eating on all you can eat because you can order for them and you can get both the trays. So um, I just noticed she had some more food over there and I was being polite. So I asked if uh, she was done with that. And here he comes again. And guess what I um, got? Yes, the Terry Aki grilled shrimp. That was so delicious. The sauce was so delicious. When I got done with that, I had to, uh, I was going to lick the plate. What I think I did with another bowl, but I didn't put it in here because I was trying to be a little bit more civil about it. So this one, I just used my fingers to, to suck up all the juices. Whatever, guys. That's what she said. I was finishing um, sucking the juices off that plate, and he brought out some some shrimp that had cheese on it, some breadcrumbs. Oh, it was delicious. A lot of cheese. Look at this. Look at that cheese pull. And I slapped a piece of cheese right over it. Oh, my goodness. Man, you can't get no better than that. And I was sitting here uh, while I was uh, enjoying my company. He already came out with some more. I was like, whoa, um, he's on top of this. That's what she said. Uh, there's some more shrimp, Alfredo Linguini, some uh, some uh, teriyaki chicken, <coughs> some teriyaki grilled shrimp. I don't know where the chicken came from, okay? But that was some lobster rolls in that bag that he, that he sent me, and I was not trying to fill up on lobster rolls, so I, I was taking that home. Uh, he brought up some more sautéed shrimp right here, and the rest of this I'm pretty much going to fast forward because – you already know what all this stuff is, um, and I would just want to uh, go ahead and show you uh, the amount of dishes that I do. Um, I didn't do as I didn't even count them, um, and I, like I said, I didn't do as many as I would because I didn't want her sitting over there even longer. I think she sat over there for about an hour. So, but she, um, Taj is a really good sport, and I really appreciate her because she lets me do my job, and and uh, I can't thank her enough for that. Uh, I'm going to finish this up and probably just put some music in for you guys. Uh, but I really appreciate you guys for um, 
for even um, watching this to its entirety that do. And the ones that do watch it in its entirety, you will get a treat because I have a $50 giveaway that I'll talk about at the end of this video that I wish that uh, all you guys would participate in. And if this goes well, then I will do this more and more, okay? Okay, just left Red Lobster. Um, I would have been there a little bit longer, just taking a, it started getting busy in there, so the plates come out a little bit, a um, little bit slower, but the, uh, the waiter did a really good job. Um, sometimes I get a bad waiter that I'm waiting like 30 minutes, whatever, but he was, um, he was on it, um, real professional about it, so I really appreciated him. And yes, I left him a couple dollar tip, people. More than a couple dollars, okay, maybe three. But uh, he knows. Uh, him and me, that's all needs to know what he made. So, people, this is an eating video, not a tipping video. But other than that, uh, food was good. Really good. I like the um, teriyaki, what is it called? Teriyaki grilled shrimp. What would you like? Uh, the shrimp scampi. Shrimp scampi. I like the shrimp scampi, too. Um, the linguine shrimp was pretty good as well, just... Uh, really filling, uh, but I started getting those to fill up a little bit more. Um, but uh, like I said, the waiter did a really good job. This place had really, really good um, shrimp that came out. It wasn't like rubbery or anything. It was really fresh. So I appreciated that. So hope you liked the video, guys. And uh, I will see you the next one. Okay, guys, here is the um, giveaway, okay? I am going to get this straightened out and tell you about it. But the most important thing here is that I want to tell you guys I appreciate you guys for watching my videos. I'm doing this to drum up uh, more views on my videos so that you guys uh, can uh, reap the rewards as well. So um, if this goes well... Next time it might be $100, and then it might go up to $200. Just, it depends how good this goes, okay? So uh, first off, I, I need you to um, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel, okay? The the Garbage Disposal channel, Doug Garbage Disposal. S subscribe to this channel here, hit notify. Um, second of all, you need to follow me on Facebook, okay? Doug Garbage Disposal, not Brandon Clark. Follow me under Doug Garbage Disposal. Once we've got those two things taken care of, when you see this video, stop right in a second. Not right now. Share this video. Just go ahead and stop right now. Share the video. Come back to this video after you share it. But when you share it, you want to comment under it, why do you like my channel, um, and hit the like button on that, on that video. Come back to this video and comment under the video on YouTube your Facebook name so I know your Facebook name. Uh, and then when, if you win, then I can pick from there. Uh, what we're going to do, um, this one's on Facebook. So next time we do one, there might be one that's not Facebook. So somebody that doesn't have Facebook that can win. Okay. But this one's going to have to be on Facebook right now, uh, to, to win this one. Um, you're going to be commenting. Okay. After you comment on this video, your, your name, I want you, after you do the answers to these questions, send it to my P.O. Box. That's in the descriptions as well. It's Brandon Clark, P.O. Box 5142, Cahokia, Illinois, 62206. So comment on, uh, 
comment that video. I've just said that like 50 times. Uh, after you do the answers, Okay. So when you do the answers, comment. Oh. <clears throat> okay. After you come back here and comment your Facebook name, okay? Find the 10 answers to the questions I'm about to, to tell you and send it to my P.O. box. Just gave you the address, okay? So put in the Cash App. Venmo or your um, PayPal name or all three. Uh, so if you win, I can um, ship the money to either of those electronic accounts. Okay. Uh, if you don't have one, put your address down anyway, because if you win, I'm going to send you the $50. Uh, if you're in the U.S. or Canada, I'll send you a shirt too. So if you're in the U.S. or Canada, put your address down that I can send a shirt to and put your shirt size down. So if you win, uh, then I can send you a shirt as well. Uh, I just can't ship overseas, guys. Sorry. Uh, they give me too much of a hassle, so I'm not able to do that right now. But if you're overseas and you have Cash App, uh, Venmo, or PayPal, then I can um, issue the money that way, okay? If not, if you don't have it, uh, we will figure out a way to send it to you. I guess you can put your address down anyway, no matter what. So I can send that to you if you don't have Cash App, Venmo, or PayPal. Uh, the 10 questions are going to be here. Okay. I'm about to tell you the 10, 10 questions and you find the answers. If you don't get all 10 correct and the most somebody gets is nine, then whoever wins out of the nine that I pick from then wins. Okay. Out of the, the nine questions, if you don't get the 10 questions, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. So the most people with the, 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 the answers say, if you got nine questions and somebody else got nine questions, I'm still going to pick out of the, the, the bunch that got the nine questions right if nobody got 10 right. Just the same way as somebody got all 10 right. So here we go. I'm going to start with the first question is from the Thanksgiving Hawaiian turkey brine video. All these are going to be in the descriptions as well. Okay. So all the questions are in the descriptions and the video link to the questions are in the descriptions. So I'm going to put number one. Then the video link, you click that, then you find, try to find the answer to it, okay? So when you uh, when you write to me in my P.O. box, put number one, then an answer. Number two, then an answer. So the number one is Thanksgiving Hawaiian turkey, Brian. The question is, what color crock was behind me uh, when I was talking about the three gallons of pineapple juice and not wasting it, and I'm going to refreeze it? So what color crock was behind me? Uh, video two. The $150 taco contest promo uh, at Don Chincho's. Uh, the question is, how many contestants were on the list he showed that that were supposed to be in the semifinals? Not the ones that, that chickened out or anything. The number at the very bottom of the list next to the guy's name, I think his name was Brian or something, but whatever that last number was on that list, what number was that? Uh, number three, the Concord Grill Christmas Edition. The question is, what four words did I say before I bleeped out the cuss word after the power went out on the Christmas lights when I was standing in front of the house? So the lights went out, said four words, and it said beep. The four words I need to know. Uh, number four, Randy Santel, $20 Hardy's Charbroil Double Cheeseburger Value Meal Challenge Video. <sighs> yes, that's a long, that's what she said. That's a long title. Question, what happened when I snapped my fingers for the first time to get the burgers to magically appear on the table? So after I did that for the first time, what happened? Um, the Highway 55 newscast, this is video five. The Highway 55 newscast, question, what did myself and my other self do when the weather man outside opened the screen of the window? Number six. The vlog of California bound Denver layover um, question. After I mentioned I never saw a muscular pig before uh, when I asked the question at the information booth. So I was at the information booth and after I said I've never saw a muscular pig before, what color was the guy's backpack on this side of me? It was on the left side of me, but on the right side of the screen. Was it A, teal? Was it B, forest green? Or was it C, burnt orange? 
Okay, number seven. Harvest for stuffed bell pepper video. What color was the phone case um, I had on my phone that I was propped up on, on the other side of the brick? So I was on, on the other side of the brick that was on the ground. There was a phone laying like this while you saw me over here. There's a phone propped up when I made my second shot of that video. But there's a phone propped up on the other side of that brick. What color was the phone case? A, black, B, blue, or C, gray? Uh, video number eight. Five-pound Monster Calzone Cafe Panuzos in record time video. Yeah, I, I was going to say I didn't make the titles, but yeah, I did. Okay, the question to number eight is what note did I write on the last of the toilet paper roll? So the skit on there with the toilet paper roll, what message did I write on there? Number nine, Papa's and Beer Giant Burrito with the extra must-see footage. Must-see, okay, because you must see it for this. Question, when I was making grilled cheese, after I heard a police siren in the background, what did I tell people that might steal? What did they, what, I was, uh, what did I say people might want to steal from me? Okay. Number 10, the nine pound quickie Titan burger challenge. Question, after the rabbit pops up on the screen, you're going to see a rabbit pop on the screen. Once it explodes, like the rabbit didn't explode, it was just uh, explosion in front of it and it went away. After the rabbit went away, the first person that was taking a picture of me, what color shirt did she have on? She took a picture with her cell phone. So what color shirt did she have on? So other than that, guys, please have these answers to the questions to my P.O. box. Post stamped, postmarked, whatever you want to call it, in the mail by the 19th. September 19th is the last day I can see on the post stamp, on the postmark. If it's if it's the twentieth, then you're not in the in the uh, video. Well, in the whatever you know, in the giveaway. You know what I'm talking about. Jesus. So people, stop fast forwarding, and you're going to miss out if you do. Um, this one, like I said, if it goes well, it might be a hundred dollars next time. It might be two hundred dollars after that. So if this goes well, um, I just want to show you my appreciation by giving back to you guys. If you just want to play along, so share the video. Please share the video. This, the, this is what makes this work. So thank you very much and good luck. Hey guys, I have t-shirts in all the way from small to 5X. But have a great day unless you made other plans on the back. They are very, very soft, high quality. I pay extra for that so you guys uh, can get a quality shirt. Pre-washed material before I put the logo on it so it won't shrink on you. Uh, shipping and handling is in the descriptions. Look in that of the videos and see how to send the payment in. If you haven't already, please go to Facebook under Doug Garbage Disposal and hit follow so you get more information of where I'm at. Subscribe to my page. Hit the notification bell to get notified of upcoming events, live streams, and videos. Uh, please hit the like button for me. And uh, if you could, please share with your family, friends, and even your boss. Have a great day unless you made other plans.